We're live and alive, so yeah. that's good. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, always thanks for joining us. We always look forward to Saturday mornings so we can drink our coffee and talk Pez with you guys. And there's a lot of new Pez news this week that Pez USA finally released. And we have a huge stack of Pez to open. Greg keeps saying he's not going to buy as much. I think it's less than last week. It is. It is. <laughs> But there's still quite a few boxes, and it always seems like more, I think, because whenever you ship Pez, it's like one little Pez in, like a, in a large box, it seems like. Yeah, yeah, it always looks like more than it is. Yeah. But I'm, I know that the value of the Pez that I bought is much less this week, for sure, because I don't yeah. think I bought anything crazy. Is this not... I don't want this to be touching that. Uh, you were good, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so... Got that, that, and uh, and then also we're going to answer a lot of your Pez questions as well. So hopefully you came up with some good ones during the week. You had all week to yeah. come up with some good Pez questions to ask us. <laughs> so today I made fruity cereal latte. What? So I have some Fruity Pebbles like syrup. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then I have these little like... Uh, like these little cereal marshmallows. They look more colorful in real life. I don't know if they come across the video I in know. that colorful. Like they don't really look that colorful, <laughs> do they? Like I don't really like the, the color. All right. <laughs> it's going to be hard to eat and drink. Oh, I'll do it. Don't worry. <laughs> I just have boring coffee Americano. <laughs> That's still really hot. All right, so where should we start? It's a good uh, here. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's do a couple good mornings. Good morning to Sienna. Hey, Sienna. How are you? <laughs> let's see. This isn't like she as big as it normally is. She joined us last couple we weeks too. Yes. Now we're cooking. <laughs> Back at the gang. Good morning, Miranda. She's at a Pez event in PA. Oh, you, that's cool. I saw Doug was setting that up, and I was a little sad that Pennsylvania is so far away. <laughs> we met him in uh, at the Michigan Post Convention. I bought a lot of stuff from him. He had like a lot of good stuff for sale, like newer, current, mm -hmm. maybe not current, but like more modern stuff that was more unique that I bought from him. Good morning, Peppermint Pat. Peppermint Pat. <laughs> Sunshine Tuna. Oh yeah, Sunshine Tuna. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. And we'll get to we'll get to more questions as we go. We'll, yeah. I like to pick them like in the moment in the right time. Yeah, yeah. Um All right. So how should we start? What do you want to start to talk about here? Wait. Someone else just popped in. Ooh, who? <laughs> Shannon. Oh. Oh. Good morning, Shannon. Hey Shannon. Good morning. I'm going to move this out of the way. You've been joining us the last couple weeks, too. That's so that's right. fun. It's nice to see uh, some return viewers. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to move this over here. Got to readjust for prime coffee drinking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what do you want to talk about first? I kind of want to go over some of the new Pez releases that Pez USA finally put out. So if you're familiar with... Like Pez International, they always put out a brochure every year. They release it like right away in January. They're on top of their game. Somehow they know all the Pez that are going to be released during the year. And I guess they could change or not. And if they don't know, maybe the final, you know, mock-up of the design, they put, you know, a space holder in there. So, I don't know, every year for uh, five years or more, they've been making this. And the Pez USA never makes one. So... Finally, they released a whole bunch of stuff on their website. Like just yesterday, they added a whole bunch of stuff to it. So I wanted to go through it because I do have a whole video talking about the 2023 Pez, uh, you know, new releases for this year on my YouTube channel here. So you can check that out later. But, and I do mention all the stuff that's on here. It's just that now we actually have pictures. And there's one new thing that no one knew about. Which I think is really cool because I like that franchise, but <laughs> no one knew about. It. Wow. Good okay. morning, Cameron. Welcome back. Yeah, morning, yeah. Cameron. <laughs> I'm 
John is back. Oh, John. Hopefully you find uh, that pest today. <laughs> yeah, he's incognito. Now that he's got the, now that he has the beard, he just, he's just totally different. He doesn't even know where his pez is. Who? <laughs> all right, so where do you want to start? I guess let's pull up in the page with all the new pez. Let's go through that quick. All right. Do, do, do. Share my screen. Share just a window. I'm always <laughs> John's like funny. <laughs> I'm always excited for the new releases, especially here from Pez USA, because that's where we live. That's what we can get easily. You know, these Pez cost you know two dollars to five dollars usually. Some of the giants run around like twenty five dollars. So these are easy Pez you can find, easy ones you can afford for your collection. I think so. It always like I think I always like it so. We already knew that the Little Mermaid series was going to be released, so here's the new Ariel. And then scroll down there. And then here's the new Flounder, which we already knew these. We've seen these in the Peasant National brochure, but keep going down. There's Sebastian, which I don't know. I'm so happy that we're getting a Flounder and a Sebastian. Are you agreeing? Uh, Do you even so know who I, these characters so are? So <laughs> happy. Like, I mean, I was just thinking to myself, like, where have these been? <laughs> I like The Little Mermaid. That was one of the movies I grew up watching. So keep going down. Keep going down. Here's the box set. So finally they released the what the box set's going to look like. I think the graphics on it are really nice. I like the pink and the purple. And then we know for sure that we're going to get an aerial and a flounder. Seems like they could have did like a three set and had all three of them in there. But I'm sure that's coming. Like they got to <laughs> let you buy this one first. They're making aerial play favorites here. Like... She just picks Flounder. I thought Sebastian was her friend, too. Oh, now this next one, I saw the hint <laughs> of it. I like the next one. Okay, keep going. Ready? Then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is the new Ghost Spider, which we've seen this picture in the Peasant International brochure. But there's some box sets down here we're going to look at. Isn't this otherwise known as Spider Gwen, right? Yeah. 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 This is my favorite Spider-Man costume, actually. Oh, yeah. I love this. It's the a Spider-Woman, I think, too. Yeah. So then there's a box set with Spider-Man and then the Ghost Spider, a.k.a. Spider-Gwen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then there's also the Spider-Man box set with Spider-Man and Miles Morales' Spider-Man. Yeah, I like Miles Morales' Spider-Man, but for black suit Spider-Mans, I like uh, the original black uh, suit Spider-Man. Yeah. Which is basically just like all black. But but uh, Miles' costume's cool, too. Yeah. Maybe. I like Miles Mar Morales. I like, uh, if you haven't watched Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I mean, who hasn't, though? Like, I don't know. Can't be anyone left that it's hasn't It's so good. Seen it. I've seen it, like, a million times. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be one of my favorite Spider-Man movies. Yeah, yeah. And we're getting the sequel, so Ooh, can't look that's at that. why I think we're getting these. That's why we're getting Ghost Spider and these box sets, so. Yeah, I'm pumped up for the sequel. It's going to be fun. I think it's going to be at the end of the year. So that's going to be something to look forward to. Ready? Oh, I, there are oh. Um, release dates, too. Oh, yeah. You have a little notes. So the uh, Little Mermaid ones we're going to get in April, which is just around the corner. Yep. And then uh, the Spider-Man ones we're going to get in May, which is really soon, too. And then, yeah, oh, the next one. You can, you, Greg can talk about this one. What does that look like? <laughs> I mean, it's obviously Superman, but it's like, to me, that's like generic Superman. <laughs> it because almost looks like Christopher Reeves, doesn't it? It, it does kind of, but I think it's generic enough that they probably don't have to pay, you know, they don't have to call it Christopher yeah. Reeves. Christopher Reeves, but... Um, I think they did this because, you know, Henry Cavill is not Superman anymore. Uh, and he made a big stink about it. Well, social media made a big stink about it. He was very gracious. But um, people made a big stink about it. So they had to re rebuild, you know, remake Superman in a generic likeness. <laughs> like, it also could be just like the comic book version of him, too. Yeah, but still. 
I think it looks good. I like it. I'm a little salty. I really thought Henry Cavill was the great Superman. Yeah, I do like him. It's a, the actors, they never last forever in these superhero roles. Very Except true. Except for Chris Hemsworth, there's no one that can replace him. I'm just going to say that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As Thor. <laughs> That's funny. So we're getting Superman sometime in July and August. So sometime in the summer. So I think that's that's a pretty neat one, I think. Yeah. We didn't know about this. So I guess there are two that we didn't know about. Because this is like a new new news to me, at least. Ready to keep going? Yeah, keep going. And then, of course, this like I fun. said, I speculated in my Pez release video for 2023 that Pez USA is going to be getting the Pokemon. So we have Pikachu... So this is the laughing Pikachu. See how it looks like it's laughing? Does, mm -hmm. it, does it look like it, you just said a funny Pokemon pun? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> looks exactly like that. And then this is the new one that this is new. Like no one knew about this. The Pokeball. So usually I'm not too excited about balls that are painted on top of pets. <laughs> yeah, because they're just like basic. Yeah. This seems like an obvious one. I mean, they have the ball mold. Yeah. Like... What were they waiting on? I don't know. And then I kind of thought to myself, like, why did they not make this before? Like, no one thought of this. Like, we have all these Japanese mini Pokemon Pez, and there was never a ball, like Pokeball. I know it's ridiculous. And I mean, I can only imagine this. There's only this is the only one. This is just a basic Pokeball, but there's like the Master Ball, the Ultra Ball, the Great Ball. There's all kinds of balls. <laughs> yeah, and we would have to collect them all. Yeah, so. They could do like a whole box set with the different balls and some like legendary Pokemon or something. Are the different balls actually in the cartoon or are they just in Pokemon Go? No, it's in the games and cartoons. Yeah, and, it's everywhere. Yeah, Pokemon Go. Okay. Ready? Yeah, and then this, I'm so excited about this, the box set. Doesn't that look really nice? <laughs> yeah, it looks cool. I like the pattern on the back, in the back. Yeah, so on the pattern in the back in the red, there are Pokeballs. I think it looks nice. Yeah. With the laughing Pikachu. So we are not getting just the smiling Pikachu. Wait, I did just shoot a video. So if you go back to my channel, this just this past Thursday, I released a video showing the three new Pikachu Pez that came from Pez International. And you'll notice, so there's the blue. What was the other color up above? Or did we not get to it? I don't think we got to. Okay, yeah, okay, keep going down. So there so take note, there's the blue laughing Pikachu. And then there okay here. And then there's the orange stem one with the winking Pikachu head. So all the head molds are the same. It's just different expressions. So basically the Pokemon with the Pikachu and the ball, they're just emojis. <laughs> take a take a quick pause here and say hi to Tim. Welcome. Yeah, hi Tim. Good morning. And say hi to Esther. Oh, uh, Esther, finally. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's been hoping that we would uh, move our time up to the afternoon. But maybe some, maybe sometimes we'll like switch around the time. But I think for now, 10 o'clock. But I'm so happy that Esther is here. <laughs> Hopefully John is uh, with you. <laughs> hey, Geraldo 10 Clips. Oh. <laughs> How's it going? Hi. All right. Now, should we keep going here? Yeah. I think we're caught anybody, up on uh, Anybody else excited for any of these new Pez? Because anything, uh, anything that you're looking forward to? Because I know I'm looking forward to the Pokemon ones and, uh, and the Little Mermaid ones for sure. Oh, and this, uh, maybe all of them. <laughs> It's really hard to pick. I'm really excited for this year's Pez releases. They're finally, I think, getting into some really popular, like, licensed characters. I mean, they always have, but yeah. I think they're they're catching on, I think, a little bit better, it seems like. Yeah, they're like, why are these Funko Pop Pez selling so well? Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> maybe. Um, so I wonder if they're going to keep the stem-head combination here, or if we're going to be able to get a uh, blue stem... Uh, winky face Pikachu. I think just this because that they never like switch the stems on the stuff. It's always like if it comes out with Pez International or, or here, usually this is the exact same. 
oh, we'll see something weird. Yeah. Something weird's going to happen. <laughs> All right. What is this? Oh, okay. This is a surprise, too. So these are just color variations, I think. I mean, it's hard to time to tell. So this is, so this year, 2023, is Disney's 100th anniversary. So their whole, like, branding and marketing for the whole year, like not just Pez, outside mm -hmm. of Pez even, it's 100 Years of Wonder. So this is the box set that they're releasing. So scroll down, you can see them a little better. And they look like they're silver yeah, or they definitely look platinum. Silver. I don't know. I'm sure it's just going to be painted silver, right? Still. But I think that they look cool. <laughs> it's different. Yeah. So it's not just this set. So this one's Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, and Donald. And then we're getting a Marvel set. Whoa. So that's cool. So this has Ant-Man, Spider-Man, Iron Man, and the Black Panther in it. And then the box set, which we passed up, which yeah. is cool. You gotta have the box set. You almost have to have two of each of these so you can open one and keep the box. I think the boxes that Pez have been putting out are really nice. I like the graphics and that box set looks more unique than some of these like rounded ones yeah, that it's we've been like, getting. Yeah, it's I'm, pointy and... I'm sure Pez is excited to hear that you're gonna have to buy two of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yes, mission complete. <laughs> I wonder if they'll sell them loose like they like they did the bride and grooms like so that you can buy the box set and then you can just buy them loose yeah, for that's cheaper. a good question like they could come on cards even yeah they could come on cards because already we know that like you can go to pest.com right now and buy the counter box of the disney 100 years pez but the pez aren't like this they're just normal colored pez but they come in the graphic, the box with the graphics on it. Did you order that? No. Why not? Uh, maybe I will. <laughs> I mean, that seems like something they wouldn't make for very long. Oh, that's true. That is a good. Uh, that is a good point. Like if you like to collect variations, who do you? It'll know just that... be this year. Okay, this is awesome. <laughs> who do you know that likes to collect variations? Great. Oh. <laughs> so perhaps just buy them. <laughs> and then. Uh... The Star Wars box is so cool. So scroll down a little bit. We have R2-D2, R2 Darth Vader, and Grogu, and Chewbacca. It seems like Grogu just got done running a marathon or something. <laughs> He's got one of those space blankets on. <laughs> it is. And that's like Chewbacca and Carbonite. Yeah, why didn't they should have painted, why didn't they just paint the whole Grogu? And uh, Anakin's, you know, Darth Vader's trying out a new a new look. <laughs> no, wait. Uh, right here. This is what it reminds me of. This. <laughs> Your destiny lies with me, Skywalker. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm surprised the battery still works in that thing. Well, we changed them. Oh, remember how? Remember how when you have to change the battery on these giants, there's these little bitty screws, and there's like mm. four of them in here, and you have to like uns or did we have to just unscrew this? I think I tried to do it, and I wasn't doing it right. Yeah. So we're gonna get a smaller version of this, but with a black stem and no glowing eyes. This thing is really cool. <laughs> Hello, moves like him. Moves like him. Hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> Caitlin has entered the chat. Oh, hey, Caitlin. <laughs> That's the famous Caitlin that appears in my videos with me when we do like Pez DIYs. So if you like Pez DIYs, you might want to go check out those videos. <laughs> yeah. Moves like him is from Ireland. So that's really oh, fun. Oh, yeah. I put that up there. Thanks so much. <laughs> And I don't want to miss anybody. Oh, says and does. Yeah, they hello, just hello. messaged me on uh, Instagram. So, yeah, hi. Glad hello, you can join us. It's awesome. Tim says the new Disney 100 tins look oh, awesome. Yeah. I, I really do like them. I think they're very, very, very cool. Yeah. But they're way up here. Oh, there it goes. They're definitely a unique shape. Because usually the Pez tins are, like, round at the top. But they're pointy. Wait. 
Yeah, the Pink Panther one has like the Pink Panther head on top. I don't know. It seems like all the ones we've been getting are like round. So I have Cameron, some tins behind me. Cameron says he's always excited for the new Pokemon Pez. Yes. <laughs> I always, you know, I'm not a huge Pokemon fan, but um, I like the Pokemon Pez. Yeah. Are you gonna? Did you? Are you gonna show that or later? What? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, oh. Hold on, not, not yet. Let will flip back. Or do you want to do it now? You can do it now. Here. Let me or there's some. Back. There's a couple more of these still to show. Okay. Let will go there first. Oh, let's see. <laughs> oh, who's excited for the Mandalorian next week? Mandalorian season three. <laughs> That's all I've been thinking about lately. I know. I can't stop. Can't make me. And then here's a the twin gift set for the Disney 100. So that's got the vintage looking Mickey and Minnie, which I always like those Pez even to start with. So I think those are cool. Yeah. Yeah. These are neat. And you've, you've gotten some new Mickeys lately. So. Oh yeah. We've been in the collection. Them. Yeah. If you've been watching our live streams, Greg keeps buying the, like, the, the vintage Mickeys. Some of them have like die cut heads and some of them do not. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised we didn't have them. That's, you know, it seems like a, a, like a first vintage Pez to get. Yeah, for sure. All right, keep going. And then this might be the last one. So this is the giant Mickey. I don't know I if might I like have, that. I might have to buy this. I think that the, I don't think the picture shows the detail like on the head as much as it should. I'm hoping that it's going to look like the Star Wars Darth Vader one. If it does, I'm going to buy it because I like the chrome Pez, the giant ones at you least. You do? Oh yeah, because you yeah. can shine like colored lights on them. Yeah. Which is kind of neat. Oh look, it sits right here. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're cool. Yeah. You want to answer a couple questions? Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's, uh, so this is the one I was saving. Let me go back to us. It says, hello, I have some Pez. How do I find out what they're worth? I'm trying to sell them. Um, so there's a number of price guides. It just depends on how old the Pez are. I, you know, general rule of thumb, if they're, uh, if they have feet, then the majority of them are worth 50 <laughs> cents, but there's mm -hmm. some of them that are, that are pretty desirable. There's different variations. There's different limited editions, things like that. Um, what it depends I, if they're like Pez USA or Pez International ones. Cause, yeah, it depends on what country you're selling them yeah. to because they're harder to get in different yeah. places. But um, what I would do is I would go on Facebook and join the Pez community. Mm -hmm. I would take some pictures of what you have and post on there and just ask people uh, if they see anything notable. And what you'll likely have if you're like every Pez collector is you'll have a bunch of Pez you love that are worth nothing and a <laughs> bunch of, and a few Pez that you probably love or like that are, that have some value. So, mm -hmm. um, it's like collecting anything else. You'll have some good stuff and you'll have some not so good stuff. Yeah. I'm if sure. you don't want to deal with any other collectors or if you don't have time to do that, you can just list them on eBay even. I mean, yeah, you can put them up as a lot. Yeah. Uh, but the general rule is anything without feet is worth something. Yeah. Um, I think you get more for your Pez too if you sell them individually than like a lot. Yeah, it just depends. I mean, if you send send Aaron some pictures and I, you know, we yeah, we give can you help some, you price them if you yes. At least give you the right direction. Yeah, on you can send me a message over on Instagram or Facebook. Um, um Eric collects Pez. We can help you. Uh, at least. Uh, yeah. Help you. You know get in the right direction of where to go <laughs> and we do buy full collections from time to time just depends on what you have i mean yeah. we have so much we don't want to buy duplicates so yeah um or sometimes there's other people like sometimes people are like oh i'm looking for this or i'm looking for that and sometimes when i see it come up i'm like oh you know so and so has this for sale so yeah. even if i know like you know maybe what you have i can maybe can direct you to somebody who sells those specific pez even exactly because there's not everybody sells like the same stuff, which I like that. Cause... Yeah, we'll help you though. Just, just, yeah. just send Aaron a message on whatever social media that you're into, and we'll help you. Uh, all right, I saw a couple more here that we can get to. Oh man, Sunshine Tuna. What? And no desire. 
I put that on the screen just just for shame. I don't even think you have to know anything about Spider-Man to watch it because they teach you about the Spider-Verse. I mean, there's not just one Spider-Man. Well, if you know anything about Marvel, there's not one of any superhero. <laughs> there's lots of dimensions full of different superheroes of the same name. So yeah, it's really it's kind of a, it's really a fun movie. Yeah. Um, you should watch a Sunshine Tina. <laughs> hey, we, not everybody likes like animated. Not everybody likes Spider Man. Or, you it's know. fine if you don't, I guess. It's fine. I guess. Just poking a little fun. <laughs> um, so, uh, is there any history if Pez did Hot Wheels? No. Oh. There are cars. Yeah, there are Pez Hot Wheels. Yeah, there are cars. There in the so on the stem, there's like a tire, and then on top. There's a Hot Wheel car, and mm -hmm. then you can take the Hot Wheel car off, and then they, they're they called Pull and Go, I think. And yeah. Then, you know, like you pull the car back and it goes. And then there's also, I don't know if they're made by Matchbox, but there are the opposite of that, like Pez branded metal vehicles. We have some around here. Oh. Like bugs. Yeah, and they're made by Johnny Lightning. Are they made by Johnny Lightning? Yeah, I have a bunch of those too. So I don't think they're technically Hot Wheels. No, I guess those are different brands. Um, I'm not much into the metal cars. But. Yeah, but they're Hot Wheel like. If anybody has any, feel free to help each other in the chat. By the way, like, yeah, um, don't worry about about us answering the questions. If you have the answer, then we'll give you the spotlight. Yeah, please and please help us now. <laughs> nowadays, um, it's like M two, M three. Wait, who makes that? Who makes the beetle up there? Who makes that? Yeah, is it M2? Oh, M2. I always think M3, like the BMWs. <laughs> they make a... Uh, so there's like these types of cars that are made nowadays. And these, the M2 brand, they make these, I think they're sold at Walmart. But they also make smaller versions of these Hot Wheel size. Mm -hmm. I think Hot Wheel size. Yeah, they they're might be close. a little bit bigger. Yeah, they're close. They're not quite But uh, I think this is super cool. This is like the Chase version. I don't know what you call it, but yeah, it's neat. only at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, better late than never. Yes. What is it? He says oh, I'm, I'm late, late again. Oh, hey, Paul. Totally fine. <laughs> Paul and I chat on Facebook. Oh, he, that's cool. He likes variations like I do. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've caught on to that a while back. Sunshine Tuna being helpful in the chat. Pull and go. Or the Hot Wheels. Shannon got to Johnny Lightning before you did. So oh, no. wait. I see why Sunshine Tuna doesn't... She clicked that one. I wasn't going to give oh, it to her. That one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at... It's Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man or nothing. Okay. I understand. I understand. <laughs> we get it. We get it. The Into the Spider-Verse is animated, so it's not like... They're taking over. Yeah. It's a different dimension, too. So it's not, to it's not like she says Toby Maguire like, nothing. It's not like Miles Morales is taking over Toby Maguire. That's fine. <laughs> That's not allowed to watch it anyway. Okay. Yeah. We'll it's not going to even work. Move on. <laughs> All right. So. Um, oh, yeah. Well, let's talk about this. Then. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Let's go back. Uh, let's see, how's the best to do this? Maybe like a full screen? Yes. I don't know. They don't can't That's see us good. then. Okay. Follow me for a few seconds or not. Is that as big as the kids? No, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. I can go like this. There we go. Maybe you can set. You can show us for a second. Do 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 do. Five hours later. Hey, you can. <laughs> you want to take control of this? <laughs> yeah, it's not working. That's fine. This is good for a second. Okay. So, uh, what day was that? Like, was this? Did it? Did this might have released Monday night, and I didn't realize that it was being released. A few months ago, the History Channel reached out to me and they're like, hey, we like your videos on your YouTube channel. Can we use some of them for our, it's called like the greatest of all time with 
Peyton Manning and was it it was either Monday night or Tuesday night they released episode three and I guess I should have googled it I didn't think it was coming up because this was like just a few months ago and I was like oh it'll probably be like a year I don't know how long it takes to make these shows All right <laughs> so they didn't they didn't like contact me or anything saying that like what they used or anything so I just said yeah use whatever you want that's fine so uh it was like Tuesday morning Greg's like look look like sticking the phone in my face like right when I wake up <laughs> that the show was released last night pardon me for being the hype man yeah <laughs> excuse me could have waited till you had coffee probably oh no, it was exciting so I just wanted to share some okay so the show is like the greatest of all times of anything so this one particular episode was about candy yeah and Pez made the top 10 list I'm not going to tell you what spot they got because I want you to go watch the episode I think it's really good I watched the episode with my mom a couple days ago so that was a lot of fun but these are some of the clips or screenshots of the clips I mean I guess I could have pulled up a video of each one because <laughs> I own the video so it's not like well, no it's fine it, th but these were actual clips of the show yeah so, so you can go watch the actual show and, and go oh yeah these are the clips so I thought that was a lot of fun yeah it's kind of neat to see what they even picked it is it's yeah. kind of interesting and that pet shelf with those spider-man and those regulars and the groom is so much more full now <laughs> I know. it's like jammed <laughs> Oh, and then the the witch on card. I love those. I like how they picked. Like it was pre it was pre shelf here. Oh it was yeah, pre this shelf. Yeah, and they reached out to me like it was last year. Wait, what? When? When was that? Like it was a while ago now. Yeah, it was. It was kind of. Yeah, it was a while. But they, we'll, we'll see. Um, they offered to pay you for them which is neat yeah so we'll see if we get a check you know, yeah not holding my breath <laughs> it's fine i just get excited when pez is like showcased you know outside of the community and you know maybe it might bring in some new collectors maybe it won't or maybe it just gets people excited about pez and you know it keeps pez current i think because we don't want pez just to die off gotta keep it uh you know somewhat popular get some new collectors out there so that we can keep the yeah has collecting community going because yeah that's why i like your channel because you talk a lot about the current stuff like it's obtainable people can actually find it and collect yeah. it like yeah the vintage you can find and collect too but you kind of have to get embedded into the into the groups right you have mm -hmm. to like make friends with some of the uh, people who've been collecting for a really long time but then that's part of collecting of anything I think it's making the friends in the communities so that you know you can talk pez you can you know buy and trade pez from each other I mean that's half the fun because who wants to sit at home and buy pez by themselves <laughs> so moves like m says what pez are you most excited about for these Ooh. releases like of all those you just gotta pick one though just pick one yeah you can pick a box but just pick one I think uh oh. The man, the Star Wars 100 years one. Yeah. Okay. Just because I'm a Star Wars fan. I am really, really excited about the Pokemon ones. But we already have Pikachu and the ball's new. But, oh, and plus on the, and plus Pez USA, they finally confirmed, I guess, for real, that the Ahsoka Pez is going to be released. And uh, I think that's August as well, or September. So. That'd be good. Yeah. So if you know, you know, Star Wars with Ahsoka and she's getting her own series coming up too. So that's going to be, it's going to be a new mold. It's not, because we already have an Ahsoka Pez from the Clone Wars series and yeah. and Pez, but it's a new mold. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm uh, most excited about Spider Gwen. Oh yeah. Like, so yeah. it's a really fun character. I've got a Spider, I've got a Spider-Man collection, so it's missing a Spider Gwen. Yeah. So I have all the... I mean, it's hard to say if I have all, but I think I have all the Spider Spider-Man Pez yeah. and all the card variations and all the bag variations. You have a lot. I think I made a video showing them all. Yeah. So if you haven't checked out that video, go back a few months and you'll find it. But that's yeah. because of Greg, because he's a 
variation, but <laughs> yeah, there's a spider. There's a vintage Spider-Man. It's called like No Web. That took me a long oh, time to yeah. find. And I don't think it's in the best condition, but it's so rare. Um, That's probably the most expensive Spider-Man that exists. Yeah, most of the Spider-Man pets are pretty. They're obtainable. Yeah, cheap because they're like ten dollars even for like a vintage No Foot Spider-Man, maybe fifteen. Yeah. But like, uh, and they're easy to find because they just mass produced them like. Mm -hmm. for so many years <laughs> yeah i would say if you you know some early vintage if you like superheroes is get a hulk um the the hulks with no feet are really cheap the spider men with no no feet are really cheap uh you could even get a like captain america goes for like 50 bucks like the the, the regular captain america does it yeah maybe yeah. a little more lately, <laughs> lately it's been 50 bucks on ebay 50, yeah. 50 to 70 bucks depending and then on there's it. the black helmet Captain America too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, those are like those variations. are more. Yeah, those are more expensive. <laughs> but um, just, even like Wonder Woman, like vintage ones are pretty cheap. Yeah, yeah. Easy to find. So you could put together a pretty cool uh, superhero uh, collection for relatively cheap vintage, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and it displays really cool and they look neat. Yeah. There's two color Hulks, like it's a dark green and a light green Hulk. It's really neat. Yeah. So. For sure, we got a lot of those. <laughs> I moved on to Hulk. <laughs> I think I posted in a Facebook group. Like I, I literally have so many of those those Hulks that they're just laying around. Oh yeah, there's a couple just laying on like the extra bookshelf downstairs. <laughs> so well, like if you buy a lot, usually, and it's full of like some kind of old Pez, but not really. There's odds of having some superhero Pez with no feet in there are pretty high. <laughs> really high. Really high. <laughs> Paul says he hates the pointy box sets. You can't stack them on top of each other. Oh, sh show them your... That is a good... That, that is... That, yeah, I get it. <laughs> show them your new uh, clear stands that you got off uh, Amazon. Oh, like the little bitty ones? Yeah, yeah, sure. Like, that's how you stack them. I, like, you tear them. Well, I've been... <laughs> like, uh... Oh, I almost knocked the pandas over. Don't knock the pandas over. So you recently got these on Amazon because of like these boxes don't stack. <laughs> and then you can put stuff. Well, I got these more I think to put behind me so that you could put stuff in front of it. Yeah. And then like this, you can't really put anything on top because it's not like sturdy. Yeah. So. You could easily like display them better, I think. I don't know, but there's, I bought a pack of these like little acrylic shelves and there's like different sizes. And I put them all, like this Mandalorian box right here sits on one, so it's like a little higher. And then like the Five Nights at Freddy's behind Greg's head here sits on one, so it sits higher so you can put like some Pez in front of it. I think whenever you have like Pez displayed or any collectible displayed. I think it always looks better when you like tear them. Like a lot of people use like the, you know, like the nail polish shelves. Mm -hmm. to, and I use the ones from like the container store, the, the spice, the spice racks, racks or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So like, I think whenever you display stuff, if you can use something to tear them, I think it helps display them. But I get the stacking thing with the point. <laughs> Maybe that's why they never made them. <laughs> Sunshine says she's excited for the 110 with Mickey and friends. Oh, that yeah. is super, super cool. Yeah. Uh, is that what you're into, Sunshine? Is like uh, Disney stuff, or what? What is your like go-to fandom? Yeah. Because you don't like Marvel or Star Wars or Spider-Man or whatever. But what's your go-to? I hope you say My Little Pony, because <laughs> that would be sweet. <laughs> I like My Little Pony. I don't. I haven't watched it or whatever, but I, I know, like we the should characters. Go, we should go. I want to go back and watch like the Smurfs, My Little Pony, Care Bear, maybe the old GI Joe, maybe some of the old Transformers. Like I want to go back to like nineties, um, nineties stuff. Yeah. Or like eight, maybe late eighties stuff. <laughs> <laughs> See now that's a that's a philosophy right there. I like it. Oh, this is you right here, Aaron. Lilo oh, and Stitch. yeah. I moved my Lilo. They're behind your head. I moved this way a little bit. This other. Right up here. Lilo and Stitch Funko Pops. 
those are hard the polka pop pez those are hard and expensive like i had to put a ebay watch on when i got those just to find those because like nobody has them for sale in the pez community and yeah and if and if you do find them on ebay people have them for like crazy price that <laughs> yeah so uh we loved Shira. Ooh. Shira is so amazing. Yeah. So much so that at Comic Con, I was carrying around a Shira sword. <laughs> they gave us Shira swords at the Shira panel yeah. for the Netflix Shira show. We watched all that, and then we went to the panel and we saw all the voice actors and like the creator of that show. Yeah, and they gave us uh, tiara tiaras. Tiaras, yeah. And then they gave us swords, and then some little kid walked up to Greg, and there, and she was like. Where did you get that sword? And then Greg's like, they gave it out the panel. And, and then he's like, here you go. <laughs> it was the sweetest thing. <laughs> we don't need two. You had one. <laughs> I still have it in my office. Listen, if her dad didn't get up early and go to uh, the panel to get her the sword that she wanted, that's that's not her fault. <laughs> oh. um, he man, he man, I. Uh, Iffy on. We watched a whole bunch of the newer He Man yeah. stuff, like on Netflix. It's okay. The Kevin Smith one is. Yeah. Okay. Iffy. It, Shira was a home run. Yeah, she was he Man really stuff good. was just was just mediocre. But we grew up watching He Man and Shira, like. Yeah. So it's like nostalgic for us, I guess. Yeah, I, I'll tell you the new Voltron stuff oh, was yeah. amazing. Like it was really on good. Netflix. Loved it. Yeah, on Netflix. <laughs> All right. So what is next? I think we need to uh, open a box or two, don't we? Yeah. Did you answer everybody's question? I think so. And everybody's questions? I mean, we not you know, there's not really too many questions in here. Or I mean. Yeah, we're good. Let's get it. Let's open up. Oh, you want to show that since we're uh, here? Oh yeah. So I've been working on some Pez art because I want to sell some Pez art, and uh, I took a picture of my Pikachu Pez. So. Yeah, if you want to uh, buy some of Erin's photography, she's going to have it for sale here shortly. Yeah, I'm actually working on a website. Don't go to ErinClicksPez.com. Yet. <laughs> it's out there live, but um, I'm filling up the store with some uh, merch and some Pez art. Because I like art and I like creating the art and photography and taking the pictures and stuff. So, I don't know. So I'm working on... Some different ones. I've been testing out, printing some different ones. This is just like my first print out. I think I'm going to have to brighten it up a little bit, but it's getting there. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should. You, we saw the panda one last week, so. Oh, yeah. It sits, it, that's behind you, too. Everything's like right behind Greg. Greg's in the good spot. It sits right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Garner says bringing some to Cleveland. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I didn't think I haven't thought that far out. We you never thought really to sell. We always buy. Yeah. When I go to conventions I don't usually sell out of my room or like get a table or whatever, but I like to consume. <laughs> the uh Yeah, the, the holiday inn. We don't we don't typically stay there. Uh, we did one year, but Yeah, we stayed there uh Yeah, we stayed there when we went there last time. Yeah. What's your favorite Disney Pez of all time and new releases? Oh my gosh. What a question. <laughs> um, I would have to say my favorite Disney Pez of all time is the Grogu and the Mandalorian. But the mini Grogu and the regular size Mandalorian that comes in the box set. That counts at Disney, right? Yeah. <laughs> so for me, it's one I don't have that I'm looking for. And that is a goofy on lavender USA stem. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, if anybody has that they want to sell. Yeah. Let me know. <laughs> and disregard all the people that say the lavender stem is very rare and expensive. Disregard those people. And sell it to me for very cheap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one is a little bit more rare. That's why we haven't found it so easy. But yeah. they exist. Garner's a tough one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, Sunshine, we were looking at that for sure. The Candlewood Suites. It's uh, connected to the hotel. Is it really nice? Yeah, the 
the uh, the Holiday Inn, I think they're renovating it. So I think some people got good rooms and some people got bad yeah, rooms. Yeah, I think if you get the renovated part, it's better. Yeah, yeah. I know, just like whenever I go, if I'm going out of town, I want to stay somewhere somewhat nice. Like, I don't know. We don't go many places. <laughs> so if I'm going somewhere, I want to stay somewhere that's somewhat nice. Yeah. They're moving the Michigan Pez Convention because the hotel for this year, because the hotel last couple years, people didn't like it. So Cameron says I'm going to be selling at Pezmania this year. Nice. I'll have to come uh, buy some stuff. <laughs> Hopefully some art. <laughs> Moves is like, you guys have such different answers. Like uh, We totally like different Pez. Yeah. Like ve very much uh, difference. We like a lot of the same stuff, but we also like a lot of different stuff, I guess. Yeah. At least it's all Pez, right? Like, that's one positive. Yeah. Although I joined a Voltron collecting group. Uh-oh. <laughs> bad news. Bad, bad news. Like... Um, all right, let's 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 open a box or two. Let's get this uh, show on the road. Here, I want to open... This one says Fragile... I want you open that one first. Oh. <laughs> Don't ship your Pez like this, please. And they wrote fragile on it. Like the, the you know, that's basically there's pro I'm surprised there's not a footprint on this <laughs> fragile. Oh. oh my gosh, come on. Oh, I'll throw this away. mortgage paperwork I honestly some of this stuff I have no idea like it takes so long oh my gosh what the they shipped it they just ship us some trash what is that maybe you shouldn't open that on the camera <laughs> it's in there it's a Pez yeah I'm gonna open this one while you're yeah you open that one while I'm jacking around with this one that. No, you'll you'll probably see us open some. Somebody will probably send us a brick. Ooh, this is a good start. Okay, yeah, good. <laughs> awesome. This one might be better than the one, the other one that we have. So there you go. It's a Doctor Pez Pal. Let's put it on the spinner. Oh, let's give it the old spinneroo. Let's give it the old Wait, look at my new spinner. setup on the spinner. Let's see, stop screen. And extra camera. Is it on? I don't think it's on. Wait, maybe it went off. I thought it turned it on. It was on, wait. Maybe it just went to sleep. Oh, you don't have the cable connected. Oh yeah, I didn't connect it because I was nervous about it. Here, well, I'm gonna work on this while you're working on that. I mean, after all this, it better be something good. That's all I'm saying. It's likely not going to be anything good. Okay. Is it on? Uh, let me go to it. So this something i got cheap cheap and that's not a chicken egg pun <laughs> Can be. but uh i thought it had good paint on the beak so i thought if we had we have this already obviously but um i thought if if the one we have is not as nicely painted then maybe we could sell the one we have um i don't think you need to see that up close are you ready? ready to go to the doctor yeah Extra cam. There you go. Ready? Yeah. Put it, put it over there. Yeah, click it. Wait, look at our new setup. I've been working on some art. Nice. <laughs> Greg has been added to the team. Ugh. I'm supposed to just be the technical support. <laughs> I right, put that on there. There you go. Oh, I gotta spin it. 
Yeah. I didn't get a good look at this at this doctor. But he looks alright. Pretty standard uh, basic doctor. <laughs> He's got a seam on his little reflector. Pretty dark pink face. A little dirty. Definitely needs like a little bath. Yeah, a little bath. But uh Whoops. Yeah, it looks like uh <laughs> What is it, an Austria stem? Looks like Austria stem. Pretty basic. Yeah. That three nine? It's a two. Oh my gosh. Wait, is that? Oh, it's a 2.6. Two 2.6. Six. Two six. Oh, that's nice. It's got some age. All right. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It yeah. needs a little bath, I think. So we bought a doctor a long time ago on eBay, and it had an undisclosed melt mark on it. It had like a little bitty melt mark in the front. Yeah. And then like I went back and looked at the pictures, and their pictures were like, not great. Not clear, especially yeah. at the bottom. Like the head was fine and like it went out of focus towards the bottom and they didn't disclose that it had any issues. So I, we'll have to compare it because there might be something else different. Yeah, yeah, you never know. So that's fun. But see, we need like a little... See you later, sunshine. Good luck with the snowstorm. Oh. Ooh. You can watch the rest later yeah. if, you choose, if you want to. See you, sunshine, too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, John, I, I hope it's not smoke damage also. Uh, For what one this? Yeah, just... Like his like, mustache looks kind of yellow? He looks a little dirty. Oh. Let, let me give him a little sniff. Yeah. I mean, it smells like someone's house, but it doesn't <laughs> smell like smoke. Uh, you can put him in that? Put him in what? Oh. Here, let's show the chicken in case... Because people are new. They might have seen all our chickens. What? There you there go. go. Spin it. Give the old it's spinneroo. It's a little wobbly. Hopefully that's not going to fall over. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> Greg likes to keep it on the edge. Rub the hair. Not on video, John. <laughs> Rub the hair? <laughs> not that kind of live stream. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's just dirty. I think it's just dirt. So kind of clean, you know, see that little white section where I rubbed with my finger? I think it's okay. box didn't smell like smoke. Nah, it'll be... It, it's, okay, usually it's it fine. seems like... Well, not always, but sometimes we've bought stuff on eBay and then you get the big whiff of... Oh my gosh. Stink it's like stuff. they smoked in the box. <laughs> you're gonna... You're gonna... You get to open these fun, questionable packages. Alright, no worries. You open that, I'll open this. Oh, this is for me anyway. I mean, this is one I picked out. Is it? Oh, yeah. Nice. It's a Panda Pez on the European Boostrap card. It's the MMM Panda. I can't believe you didn't have that. It just has the painted on eyes. They're not the removable eyes. And you need that same one, but removable eyes, right? Um, I think so, yeah. Don't be poking the candies. I'm making sure because the candies on these cards get soft, but these seem fine. They don't seem soft at all. If you keep your candies, you know, not hot and too humid or not humid enough, it should be fine forever. Oh, imagine this. Oh... Big boned eared bunny. <laughs> I love. Wait, is that my favorite color combination? Did you buy another one of those? Now these this color combination is hard to get. Wait, 
the lighter stem. It's it's one of my favorites. I like these pastel. This one actually looks really good. It needs a little bath too. Just put it on the spinner. He looks good. You gonna give him a spinner? Oh, yeah. huh? I forget. I always wait for you just to do it. <laughs> I could add it to my phone and then I could control the whole thing if you want me to. Oh, what's the other one that we have? Look at the stent, look at the sleeve, how it's the same exact color. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. Like, what's the one we already have like yeah. this? Yeah, it's the, uh... I can look, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's right behind, right in the front row there. This right one there. here? Yeah. Oh, this one's got the... Yeah, this is the... <laughs> Oh, this is my favorite one. It has like the weird eye. <laughs> yeah, put that on there so we can see the difference. Let's see if the head is exactly the same. This one has more personality. Uh, you know, it's got that one, one family member. The crazy saw... eyes. These shoes. Okay, there we go. Yeah, they're they're the same. I mean, they're a little bit different, but. It is impossible to be perfectly the same. <laughs> oh, look, even the sleeves are the same. Yeah. You probably didn't need two of those. Well, that's fine because the one has the crazy eye watch. I know, but See this how one... the left one has the crazy. or this one here has the crazy eye. Yeah, on but the, the one on the other side doesn't have a like the nose is the it's nose there but it's not good. not Oops, painted as well. All right. Ah, I like those. <laughs> well, let's keep it moving. I'm gonna get a whole army of pink heads and these cream stems. Uh, let's see. There's oh oh look, Greg. There's another one. <laughs> Move those to this. Oh look, they literally put three of these in here so it doesn't, good good thing. Ooh, it's another bunny. Another? I mean, you know, say what you will about the envelopes, but they're getting here, they're getting Wait, here. Wait, uh, you're going to want to highlight some of Nathan's comments there. I don't know, I'm looking at them. Let's see. The last one. <laughs> oh yeah. So the reason I bought this one is because it's a very white head and a very yellow sleeve. So I thought that was very cool. Look at that little red button. It is a 3.9 Yugoslavia. I'm going to put them on the spinner. I do have some more of these coming. That I bought from one person in the Facebook group. That one seems like a... I'm looking behind me. That one seems like a lighter head than... A different color head than the ones we already have. It is. Don't Wait. you remember me on the Zoom call I was in here, like, yeah, inspecting? inspecting it. So I've been trying to buy different ones. I failed with this first one, oh. but I've been trying to buy I need the knife, please. There you go. Thanks. Nathan says, buy 50 of them. Yes. <laughs> Wait, Paul had a good suggestion on how to raise his boxes. Wait. Wait for the bunny to come back. You can switch wait. it. Paul, he says he uses old bits of wood to raise box sets. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. I need to do that for the lighted box up there. Yeah. Paul says he's never seen that goofy. Uh, it, yeah, I don't know that I've ever seen one in real life. I've only seen people that have them, and I'm very jealous of them. Someone showed you one out of their collection? I've seen them, I've seen them before. But, uh, you know, it's only USA stem because that lavender. Mm. So 
These wrapped up real nice. It'd be interesting to see if, if that was ever on card. Maybe it's a head swap. Yeah. But we see we see it's, we see it on pictures. It's on Pe our like giant Pez. poster. Yeah, Pez okay. posters. That's how we think it's real. <gasps> oh. Nice. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is cool. <laughs> it's the Pez Pal Sheriff, or one variation of the Pez Pal Sheriff. <laughs> Out of many, many, many Pez Pal Sheriffs. Did you, you got this one on? That's an eBay one. eBay? Yeah. Ooh. Pink sleeve. I can't really see it. Really, really light pink. Put it on the speed. Give it the old spinneroo. Now that's a good, that's a good looking one right there. Yeah. Maybe he can teach the doctor some hygiene tips. Ah. <laughs> we'll clean him up. That's part of the fun. Give it a new home and give it a bath. <laughs> nice. That's good. On the picture on eBay, I thought that the little star or the badge or whatever on the hat was more crooked, but it's actually like right in the middle. Yeah. It's just... You know, the you pop the, the head off the hat. Was probably tilted or yeah, something. Yeah. yeah. It looks pretty good though for an eBay buy. Yeah. Even the head is like a. That's real nice. Want to look at it? Hey there! Welcome to the family. <laughs> Erin instructed me that she wants to collect all the Pez Pals, so that's what I'm working on, as you can tell. Yeah, I like that one. I've been wanting the little sheriff one for a oh, while. No. Me? Oh. <laughs> yes! I've been wanting this for, since like, not last Christmas, but the Christmas before. But this is hard to find, but if you look, you can find them. So it's the Yeppy Dog and the Cat with Derby. But they're ornaments. Okay, I'm gonna open this. You're gonna open it? Yeah. Hand me a box while you're opening it. We're getting low on boxes, aren't we? No, there's uh, still one, oh. two, three, four. There's still six at okay. seven. This this is harder to find, but just keep looking on eBay. I always think that if you look for Christmas ornaments, like now, like outside of Christmas, you're more likely to find the Pez ornaments that you want. Now that <gasps> now that Sunshine Tuna has left the chat, I don't have to read the newspapers Aww. that come with it. <laughs> no, she'll rewatch it later. Then she'll appreciate it. Then she'll see this and laugh. <laughs> hey, Sunshine Tuna, what's nothing? Sorry. <laughs> are so cool. The picture is cool. Oh my gosh. It is a yappy dog ornament with a little scarf. That is awesome. Wait, will it stand up? Yes. <laughs> yes. Boom. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I should, I don't think I should spin this, but. He's a little uh, top heavy. Focused on the string. Oh. <laughs> there it goes. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So there's that one. I might need to leave these out. <laughs> you know, it's Christmas all year. And then... Uh, come on. Focus. There we go. And then there's the cat with Derby. I like these. You could put us back on there. I'm done. Okay. I'm just, uh, this box had a bunch in it. So I'm pretty I, sure these are all FEDs. 
I think these are the last ornaments that I didn't have. Like out of all the Pez ornaments. Yeah. So this like completes the whole series. How much did, how much were these on eBay? Like I don't remember. 30? 30 or I think you offered like that. I think Greg offered the guy 30. You might have like 35 or something, but people have sold these for like 75. So I would suggest not to pay that much just to keep looking because they eventually show up on eBay or like in uh, like Pez Facebook groups, people will sell these, but just keep looking because they're around, but they are harder to find. <laughs> you you what is that? all that? Hello? Wait. Well, I was going to say, how this person know? <laughs> so you must have bought this. Okay. Yeah. Hello, Aaron and Greg. Here are some extra goodies. There is also a Pez truck ad on the bottom. Ooh. Yeah, I say I that. I enjoy the YouTube videos a lot. Happy Puzzing, Ben. Thanks, That's ben. from Ben Timpy. I think that's how you say his yeah. name. There you go. And here's a couple <laughs> of cool things here. Oh, yeah. so these are the tickets. Yeah. What did you buy? I don't even know what so you So I bought FEBs, but he said he was going to pop a couple extras in here Holy for you. Holy smokes, you bought a lot of FEBs. So here. This is the... This is the Aaron Extras. This is the Minnesota... Minnesota Twins bear. This is cool. Is that cool? Or yeah. What? Um, and then, so, is there a... Oh, yeah, sorry. you can take this. So. Is there a... Okay, so, TC Pez Dispenser Day was July 8th, yeah. 2021. Also, it looks like Minnesota Twins and Rainbow Foods put gave these out. So, if you wanted to get these baseball pens i guess back in the early 2000s because this one says this one says 2021 this was cubs so you would have to have gone to the baseball game you know how like they have the like little freebies to get you to go to the games well it was probably around 2021 maybe the year after even that a whole bunch of the baseball stadiums gave out these pens so this was minnesota twins and the one in chicago was um, there was a, a Joe Cool Snoopy, and then there was a Charlie Brown, uh, with the little hat with the C on it. So, these are cool. And then it looks like, <clears throat> there's the ticket. I don't have this, so this will be cool. That's very cool. I don't even, I don't even have this, I don't have this card. I don't even know if I have, I don't even think I have this either. The Joe, this one says, uh, Joe Cool Day. So I don't, I don't have this. And then... Oh, the Homer Simpson. So this was October 6th. So another... So the Cubs had three. Homer, Charlie, and uh, Snoopy. That's cool. That's, that's a fun... Uh, so then he also oh, sent yeah. you this. Which I thought was super cool. <laughs> it's a Pez ad for the Pez truck. Which I'm pretty sure I have that truck. Yeah, I'm I think it sure sits on my shelf down yeah. there, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That's great. I do not remember. I probably bought my truck at a convention or something because I don't yeah. remember sending it away for it. <laughs> Preferred Customers Guild. All right. That's cool. So this will be this will be really cool to add to my uh, paper collection. So here's the FEBs that I bought from Ben. So first, kind of a blue, a blue one. But I, if I look yeah, back look, there, he's not, not quite the same. But different look, color head. But look, even uh, mm -hmm. this is this is the one that we opened first, yep. and this is the second one. See how different the. And then here, here's another are. one I bought from Ben with so a different color. We just stack them up on the yeah, spinner. Yeah, stack them up. And then here's one that you like. Got another one. Of <gasps> this one definitely needs a bath. It has like a little, uh, or maybe it's just, they always have the mold marks on the tops of these FEBs, like right on top, but sometimes they look a little dirty, but I think that's just, that's just the way it is. And then here's a, here's a red one. Some things will never change. Oh, that's a good one. Wait, do we have this? Yeah, we have that. We have something similar. No, we have a red, not this color. Or is it the second one? I guess yeah, it's kind of similar. Yeah, I don't know. Similar. 
<laughs> but I thought those are those are actually harder to find. They're harder to find, and I thought I'll snatch them up while he has them. And uh, I think they were the last ver versions of these colors. He's got a bunch of them though. So if you're in, if you want to, if you like FEBs, um, you know, reach out to Ben in the in the Facebook group, and uh, he's got a bunch. He's an FEB lover like you. I think he just has a lot of extras. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Seems got, like it's easy to get extra FEBs like we are because you buy them online. You don't know exactly what color and how they look until you get them, and then. You end up selling, you know, doubles or triples or whatever. <laughs> That's cool. That's a good picture right there. See you later, Geraldo Clips. Oh, uh, yeah, so see ya. Off. All right. Let's go back here. All right, what's next? That's a good one at the bottom there. This one here? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Nathan, yes. Yeah. <laughs> And we're better than at it than than uh, what is it? who is it? Uh, Elmer Fudd. Elmer Fudd, yeah. <laughs> Big pupils plus small pupils. Feb. Paul, uh, come on. He know he he knows I'm a variation addict, so he just like feeds the feeds the addiction. It depends who painted them that day, I guess. Mm -hmm. if they if they got out their big paintbrush versus a little paintbrush. <laughs> Well, I just like the story that variations tell. Like, you know, like they were working on them at their house and they just ran out of blue stems, but they had red stems. So they just pop, 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 put them together, you know, like it just. <laughs> well, probably over the years, too, they just picked whatever stem, yeah. you know, that Pez had left or whatever. And then. <laughs> All right, boxes, boxes. Let's get to it. We're hour and twelve in. Okay. Oh, we didn't eat those. We'll get that's that's how we're gonna end the show. Oh. <laughs> we don't have to open this one. What is it? Oh my <laughs> gosh! Come on, Greg. Someone has an FEB obsession. What happens is, is I buy Wait, them. What is that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, Greg, you can't quit buying those. <laughs> Do we have, you need to start comparing them to see what we have, I guess. I have compared them. No, I mean the, this one. Oh, those were cheap. They were like, I don't know, like $15 or uh, something. Or just a lot or something. Could have been. Oh. Yeah, you bought these. Oh, you're from Ivan? Yeah. Yeah, these are from Ivan. Wait, what is this? I don't have this. Oh, weird. Wait, look at this. It's look almost like I looked. Wait, look at this color. Yeah. He's a variation. I'm going to kill myself with this thing. All right, here we go. What? Wait, look at the head. Yeah, I know. It's so floppy. But yeah. Wait, and the eyeball. Ew. <laughs> look at this. What is this? I got it because I've never seen it, even though he's got a little floppy head. How, how orange is it, though? It's a Yugoslavia. It's like 2.6. It's a weird one. Don't know if it's real. I have no idea. But, uh... Wait, put that on the spinner, please. But I knew you didn't have it. It was a variation. Look how red that is. I mean, I don't know how you how that would not be at least the head and it was a bad day on the paint floor that's for sure that's like a new a new worker painted that one yeah what does everybody think of this thing the pluto yeah <gasps> ah another floppy head i need to pay more attention Put it on us here. Put it on us. Or should I just stack them up there? No, sorry. Uh, so another chicken egg. Wait, yeah. is this the same color? Yeah. 
That's what I'm saying. Like Ivan was selling these cheap, cheap. Uh -huh. Again, not a chicken egg pun. So <laughs> I thought I this thought we could figure out which one we like better, and we just we'll either sell or give away the other ones or something. This one here. And then I know you instructed me not to buy any more pumpkins. Oh gosh. I have bought more pumpkins. I didn't say you couldn't. I just said you shouldn't. <laughs> Wait, there's something going on in the top of that one. <laughs> I don't want to know where that was stuck. <laughs> so gross. This one, actually, this one actually doesn't look too different. Nah. Here is a floppy, floppy head. I like this color combo, the, the blue. I know, it's good. But it's got the old floppy head. <laughs> Nathan says it's just his third eye. Good. I mean, that's a very positive way to look at it. <laughs> There's our Ivan lot. Uh, what do you think? How much do you think you spent on these? Uh, they were cheap. So it was like 15 bucks for the chicken eggs. The Goofy was a little bit more, but... The, that's the Pluto. Oh, the Pluto, I'm sorry. The Pluto was a little bit more because, I mean, I've never seen one. Mm -hmm. And the general my general rule is if I've never seen it. I just buy it. Yeah. And I can deal with whatever it is. And then, um, you know, whatever an FEB costs, 15, 20 bucks, something like that. And then the lamb, 15, 20 <laughs> bucks, something like that. <laughs> well, you end with the pumpkin, Nathan. Like, so yeah, this ritual wouldn't work because the pumpkin is out of order. Uh oh. So. You know. <laughs> oh, oh, here wait—we didn't show this one. Oh yeah, no, this is the best. This is this is the reason that I bought. Like this is the this is the thing I wanted, and then I got all these other ones kind of because I was ordering from him. So Ivan was like, "Hey, instead of just ordering one thing, and ha you know, and having me ship it to you at whatever it is shipping, because he's not in the U.S. Why don't you why don't you see if there's more stuff?" How about that? That's a Garfield test That was piece. all that was in that box. Yeah. What do you mean more stuff? No, I was trying to buy this. Oh, and he sorry. was like, hey, is there anything else you see that you want? Oh. Make you a good deal to I save on shipping. Meant, let's see if there's anything else to put on the picture. No. So oh, that's why I got these. Yeah. But uh, yeah, a Garfield test piece. I've never seen this before. Um, I think I, I've seen some for sale before, but I, we I, never bought one. I assume there's not a tremendous amount of them, but who knows. Esther says, say hello to John, so he knows we were definitely live. Oh, hey, John. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Let's go back here. John. Are you wearing your uh, Bubble Clux Push t-shirt? That's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Here, put on this, uh, put the Garfield, I want to spin it, because yeah. that's something more unique that you might not see every day. So let me know what you guys think of the price. I paid 60 bucks for this. Kind of steep, but, I mean, how many of these are you going to see? Like, this is a this would be fun to put in the collection. Yeah, <clears throat> I like it. Um, I think Ivan originally wanted 75 or 80. Oh. And, uh... He took 60 for it because I was buying a bunch of other stuff too. So, um, it looks so. Is it? It's an actual test plastic, though, right? I, I have no idea, love. Not a, no, no, no idea whatsoever. I'm guessing. It just looks weird because it's red. Like, uh, Even if I someone made it, I still like it. Yeah. Nathan says, pretty good. It'll eventually probably be in the hundreds. Eh. I mean, it's, yeah, resale value aside, I just want to make sure I don't overpay. Yeah. You know. Uh-oh. Oh, oh yeah, cool. here we go. Dang. Okay. Great bought these. <laughs> They're more of the little stands. Right. Yeah, we're running out of stands. These are good to have around here because whenever you buy all these no foot pads, instead of having to buy like the shoes for them, 
And they look cool, I think, stacked up. This one is unique, though. Look, you bought this. Yeah, so the reason I bought this is because I, I always see people on Facebook where they have these shelves and they don't know what to put on the shelves to hold the Pez. Mm -hmm. They don't know if they get, you know, should they go get J channels. And what you can do is you can buy things. these little guys and you can either like just set them on your shelf or you can even glue them on your shelf. And they sit with a side profile, which I think is really unique. Oh yeah. So you can, yeah. Uh, this goofy is kind of goofy. Well, some of them usually, I mean, they, it's just like any shoe or Wait, stand. This, do I see, keep saying goofy? Is this Pluto? <laughs> this Pluto just, is goofy. Well, it's just like any any of these stands, they're, they always work better or yeah. worse for some stems. Like, see, look, both of these chicken eggs, this one fits better than this one. So, yeah. I mean, if they're sitting on the shelf, it's still going to hold it down. Yeah, and you can always, like, what a little trick is, is, like, I'll take a piece of uh, paper towel, and I'll just, like, put it in there to just give it a little bit of resistance so yeah. it doesn't hurt it. Um, but that way you can fit any stem. Like, this looks real good. Like, the little, you could do an Easter lineup. Yeah. You got some of these, though, for your office. Yeah, so I have black shelves in my new studio, so I wanted <laughs> black. I wanted, the, I wanted the feet, you know, the little th things to just disappear. Mm-hmm. And we get these on eBay, so we'll we can put a link in the in the video description, yeah, or, or whatever. But um, yeah, I like these. There you go. I have a whole Easter lineup for you. There you go. That's there you sweet. Go, that's good. Yeah, we should put those on. Put that on the spinner, and then <gasps> and then put. Uh, should have got a white one. Uh, Tom says hi. Hello. Oh, hey, Tom. How's it going? Savannah says hi. I'm new here. Oh, hey, Savannah. <laughs> Paul hopefully, says. Hopefully you like Pez because that's what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Paul says baseball Pez with cert are worth more. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Cool. I guess anytime you have uh the little stuff that goes with it yeah definitely because people probably most people probably through these way or people went to the game to buy these from people they probably just bought the pez and yeah exactly show uh put that on there oh yeah here let me flip to this get the old flip rooney there you go hey that one's crooked oh and that one looks like his hat was chewed on yeah <laughs> <laughs> i think that looks really nice yeah like, imagine that on a shelf I like the side. I like the side profile, and we were just talking. What you could also do is you could put something in the bottom of these shoes. Like if you have a, a fun stem color or a fun sleeve color, you can put something in the bottom of the pez to keep the stem, the sleeve up a little bit, so you can show sleeve variations if you want to. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I can do it while I'm in here, but uh, you know, you just. You just, uh, it's not on that one. you just put something in there before you put it in the shoe and then you can, you can see the, this is a met, this is a metal spring one. I bet you I could, uh, look, I, look, the metal spring, the metal spring is in there. The metal spring is in there. See it? Oh, maybe See it up there? To be fixed. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is a T6 metal spring pez. This is a uh, this is actually pretty cool. So in here, like you can't really see it, but if you look up in there, you see the metal spring. It's just like a little little sp spring finger and it's supposed to rest on this little nub. So that you know, it pushes it, mm -hmm. and it looks like it's all in there and correct. It just maybe slipped off. This feb needs to join his family over here. What do you got there? <laughs> here, Esther has a good question that you can answer. Okay, we'll get there. I don't 
don't know. I what I didn't I you didn't even tell me you were getting these. <laughs> nice. You know, I have to have some surprises on the live stream. That's good. There's a bunch of variations on these Zoros too. <laughs> I know. I know. So here you go, it's a Zoro. I don't have any Zoro Puzz. I've been wanting this one for a while. That one doesn't say Zoro on the side, right? No. So the only, I think the only other variation I'll buy is the one that says Zoro on the, on the stem itself. Zoro. So this is a non-Zoro stem. Uh-oh. Ooh, look at that. Stayed in. Yeah, see, that's, that's because they're a little taller. Here, put uh, that one on the spinner. Spin it. Give it the old spinneroo. See. Looks good. Let's look here. I like the Zoro. I like the Pez with hats. <laughs> Stop if the it. Pez has something on their head, I like it. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Uh, you search Pez display. Let me switch over to that. Let me go here. Let me go uh, share screen, window, boom. Right here. Pez vintage style, style Pentagon display. This is the black one, but they have, you know, you go to the seller. Uh, I don't ever use. So Pez 3D prints. So what I do is I always save. I'm not logged in as me, as you can tell. But I save this, I save these sellers. And you can see all the different stuff that this person 3D prints, which I think is just awesome. Um, I don't like this. I don't, I don't oh, really think that people should, I mean, I guess I mean, you can do whatever, but there needs to be an easy way, like a serial number or something to say. I doubt that say. looks real. Yeah, it probably doesn't look real. But I like these uh, Pez shooter stands, so it makes displaying these really, uh, really cool. Um, I was thinking about getting, because we have one of these. Yeah, I have both of those. Yeah. So I was thinking about getting those, but um, I, didn't, I don't really want them in the background of here, because I don't know if YouTube would would demonetize us because of that oh yeah um, i'll put them on my shelf they're always on my yeah they sell all display. sorts of stuff here but um but this is the this is the stuff that i that i buy so you've seen this circular one uh, on the live stream and then these little diamond these pentagon ones yeah i uh, like the pentagon ones because they look like the vintage ones that mm -hmm. exist so if you don't want to spend a lot of money buying the vintage stands i mean these are obviously remakes so i don't have to worry about anybody like thinking that those are real but yeah exactly exactly i like it when remakes are are obviously remade oh wait there's one more here then there's only two boxes left so oh you might want to open Esther this says <gasps> john would like a zorro oh yeah <laughs> yeah the uh I, I am in search of uh, some Zor a Zorro with Zorro on the stem, and then that will be that will complete my Zorro yeah. uh, collection. Look at this. Oh, I know. So this is a USA whistle in cello. So USA stem whistle. Um, <laughs> makes me nervous holding these. Is that cool or what? Yeah, I like how the candy is like pink, mm -hmm. strawberry, and this one's this one's like a grape candy, and it matches the whistle like really nice. Yeah, this is super cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like uh, these old vintage Pez and these cellos have to be some of my favorite. Like whenever you have a vintage Pez in the cello. Yeah, so this thing was like a hundred bucks which I think is a lot, but not really a lot for a USA, anything USA STEM, 
just add 50 75 dollars and if they're weird colored stems then it the price just goes up mm -hmm. do you have that one open i don't know or not i'm not sure you bought you last week you showed you got some of those whistles in you yeah were they there were no foot ones yeah they, i had got some no foot ones foot and no foot ones oh yes i can't believe this finally came go ahead oh, you want me to go yeah this one has a note I don't even know what it is. I can't see it. Oh, it oh. kind of floppy head. Dang it. What? It's got a floppy head. It's still nice. I need to see if I can get if I can uh it's... Yeah, why is it? It looks like it's has all there's this. no spring in it or anything so this is the problem with ebay so this is the only Let's put it on the spinner rooster that i'm missing look it's like the people the people today right here <laughs> people pose yeah this head is not good no that's kind of sad that's sad the uh this was a cheap lot though oh it was a lot yeah it was a lot of two oh. i don't want this whatever i mean i, I don't <laughs> want i didn't buy it for this uh next one i think we literally have maybe a hundred of these oh <laughs> just a just a uh anyway is this stuck on there <laughs> Uh, oh, it's a Yugoslavia stem though with the J. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. We don't have. I don't think we have lots of those, don't we? I don't know, because you can have Yugoslavia with a J or a Y. So there's two other roosters. There's is there three other roosters? There's three, like I think. green, green head, red. Is it red stem? I don't yeah. know. We've opened them on the live stream or in unboxing videos just lately. Yeah, this is the last this is the last one we're missing. And uh this one is a placeholder. Yeah, for sure. I'm getting a I'm gonna get a better one. <laughs> Here go over there. Uh yeah, right there. Hello. Uh, I don't I'm not even gonna try saying your name, but Master Collector. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's always on uh, Instagram and he's got a YouTube. That's fun. So this rooster is, it's supposed to be orange. yellow, yellow and red, yellow and red head with green stem. Yeah, it's like a yellow head like red, with red. Red top. What is that called? The gobbler? <laughs> yeah, so you can see it next to Santa. It looks more red. Oh, yeah. Um, it's cool. I do like it, even though it's got a... Aaron will take a picture of all of the roosters together later, and we'll put it on Instagram. Oh or something. yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, Facebook, Shannon's. Oh. So, do you have suggestions for go to for Zorro and how much they go for? Um, almost all Zoros are under a hundred bucks. So, um, they have there are more expensive ones because they have different. Um, their masks go further down their face they go back around their head and there are some variants but for like a regular zorro i mean i think if you can get it for 70 bucks mm -hmm. you're probably probably right on um i you have if you're gonna buy a vintage pez you have to be in, on facebook like that's where to buy it yeah. you buy it in the you know vintage pez for sale who'd you buy that from that um oh th this i think i got on ebay uh, or you have to scour ebay and as you've seen in our <laughs> videos uh ebay is a crapshoot yeah so um this one actually seems pretty good if you got it on ebay. yeah i try very hard to under buy on ebay like i buy i i don't over buy yeah um yeah 
See, John says, except for small script score. Exactly. Yeah. There are variants yeah. that are very, very valuable. Yeah. Um, but for like regular old Zorro. Um, yeah, and then there's the one with the Zorro written like down the stem is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, we can look, you can look in David Welch's uh, Facebook group to see if he's got one. Mm -hmm. John, I don't know if John has extras. He could, you know, John Devlin here, he might be able to sell you an extra Zorro if he's got them. I don't know. Um, but um, uh, you just have to, if you start looking for it, it'll probably show up. Yeah, they're like, very common. <laughs> they're very common. Sometimes you just have to like be in the know of the pose that you want and then like they just appear or you just start searching eBay and you'll find them or. Yep. Uh, yep. All right. What else is there? This one has a note. Decided, decided to give you both oh. FEBs. Oh, Jeff. Oh. <laughs> Does Jeff know that you do the live stream? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So this is Jeff Rosenberg. So you probably, he's written some Pez books and very, very well known in the Pez collecting world. Mm -hmm. um, oh. <laughs> Look at the first one just popped out. Wait, you were just talking about this this morning. Did you know this was coming? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He was just talking about a skull so, on a red stem. So USA red stem skull. Here. How about that? So remember I've been looking for USA stems skulls? So I'm slowly but surely acquiring them. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, should we have cut? Santa up? No. Oh, Santa's stem's not even as red. This red yeah, the USA red, red, red is, is very really unique. Pretty. Look at that. He looks so happy on the red stem, even missing a tooth. You can't, uh, he's got some new pants and he's looking good. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so it, USA stems, whatever plastic they're made of, are notorious for melt marks. Uh, I mean, it's it's they're really, really, really bad for melt marks. It seems like every time you see, especially these skulls you've been looking at lately, it seems like every time there's a USA stem with like an orange or a blue, it, there's always melt marks all over it. Melty, and it's like that for all for all of the USA yeah. stems. So that um, looks nice though. Yeah, this is a good one. Well, that's what you get when you buy it from Jeff. You know, he knows yeah. what he's doing. Um, look at that. See, John knows oh, what's yeah. up. <laughs> this is nice. Wait, this one's really clean. So you can tell them when you buy Pez from... Like these super collectors. Yeah, collectors, because they always come and they look like they just tore them out of a bag or off a car. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nice. Hey oh, there. wait, there's another one. Wait, there's two. Wait, you must. they must have variations. Like they're best friends. That's probably why you decided to give me both. We'll have to look at them up close and see what the differences are. All right. Well, that's from Jeff. <laughs> Paul, Paul, you're very delayed. You're very delayed. Oh. <laughs> he could be watching it a little bit late. Or if you pause it, I think it still goes. Close your ears. Don't don't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> it's on that screen. Oh yeah. Oh, let's yeah. look at the let's look at these FEBs and see why you bought them or got one. Well, I meant to buy free. one. Yeah. We decided. To oh, they are both. different. Like they're. Oh yeah. They both use a Slavia. But they're on the stems, the Backwards. opposite directions. So that's really cool. I like when you buy two. So, so this would be cool to display that, like that. That's what I'm saying. So Pez, you can load them in least in least these stems they can Pluto load them. is having a having a bad day can't even stand up straight <laughs> i know you can load them either way like back to front or front to back like at the factory they just put them in however they put them in so i like to get the same ones but where the stem there? the stem is installed the other direction because they display really cool see that see how they display uh differently mm -hmm. it's really fun i like it but how many febs did we get today uh only the, one or two the most all of those wait all of those came today all of these yeah i don't think so yeah <laughs> 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 no 
No, you're remembering wrong. <laughs> Hopefully, if, someone, if someone's counting at home, how many of these FEBs did Greg get today? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one we already had. Yeah, eight Febs. Listen, my favorite of the day, though, is the skull. Yeah, that's pretty nice. The USA whistle is really yeah, crazy, really, too. Yeah, really cool. So, the USA whistle on this purple stem, really, really cool. Even the Zorro, even the Zorro red is not as red. Yeah, because not USA stem. See you later, Savannah. I see you, Savannah. This, I, I think my favorite is the sheriff oh my febs yeah that was so jiggly yeah those skulls they just they jiggle <laughs> there nice. we go i like this one yeah the doctor's really great too yeah well we had a doctor just like that. So this is like the new, new. The doctor does look really nice. So what was everybody's, is that the last box? Yes. So what was, slide those over. Mm. So what was everybody's. Oh no, you, nine. Nine. <laughs> what was everybody's favorite Pez that we opened today? <laughs> so we have some expensive ones. We have some cheap ones. We have some weird ones. <laughs> Close your ears. I like that. I don't know what it is, but I like it. You're not weird. You're just different. It's totally fine. <laughs> um, what's everybody's favorite? I like these ornaments a lot. Oh, yeah. I think these are super cool. I've been wanting these for a long time. I'm surprised I didn't have these. Cause I used to go to Carlton Cards and, and buy them at the store. Like, whenever there was a Carlton Cards around. <laughs> Uh, I need to look and see what year these were released. I don't know what this is, Paul. Sixty. That might eight. be a that might be an emoji. Uh. Uh. No. <laughs> nope. No. <laughs> Tom says Santa. Santa. Now that. Now that is an underdog, or it could be considered an under reindeer, <laughs> because he's the Yugoslavia with the J. This is actually a very cool pass. Wait, I think Tom dresses up as Santa, or he is a Santa. Wait, what? I Am don't I... know how to say that. <laughs> Tom, you do Santa work, right? Like you work for Santa at the malls? He's he's supposed to be choosing his favorite pass. Uh. <laughs> That's the segment that we're on. <laughs> I don't need to know what he does at the mall. Oh. Um, that is a nice one. We have, I don't know, how many how many Santas do we have? A lot. I mean, I made that video huge amounts. I made a video showing all my Santa Pez and the collection, and there was a lot of those because last Christmas. You bought, like, I don't know if I think it was like one lot of Santas, or I don't know where you got them from. There was just like a whole box of Santas with no feet, and that's where I found the one loop Santa. So that was like the coolest one. I think it had like a yellow sleeve or something in it, too. It was yeah. like, it was cool. <laughs> John, what's your take on this Pluto? Just a weird old, because it's an old Pez. It's a uh, metal, metal spring 2.6. I think stem. It's just a just a weird variation. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, I think we're wrapping it up, aren't we? Yeah. One thing. Wait, Paul. Paul's comment is very nice. Wait, where's Paul? Up, 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 up. up, up. up. This right. one? Up, up, right up. there. That Paul. Oh. <laughs> Paul. Saren says, I love this live stream. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I missed it because it was next to the other Paul. Yeah. We're popular with Pauls. Yeah. Paul yeah. likes to click pose. That's a good. <laughs> Thanks for the I detailed like. analysis. You should work on ESPN. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Um, all right. Wait, and Tom what? says, Tom says, Tom says, right there. Yes, I do play Santa. <laughs> Aaron is so much better. Like, she remembers all this stuff about people. Well, and I'm try. so bad about this. Like, well, it just came up in the Zoom call last week. So, yeah. That's how I remember. <laughs> he probably doesn't want people to know that. Like, oh. Uh, I don't think it's a bad thing. No, no, I know. It's I, just, think you it's know. Cool. I think it's cool. So last week on the live st live stream, uh, Aaron said that at whole what is it at uh, World Market, World Market, she saw onion Kit Kats. <laughs> so, Wait, I think you should eat one and tell if it, tell us if it is onion. Well, hold on a second. No, just eat one. Okay. She sees us each week in the in the Zoom call. Yeah, I made an I made a, a cameo in the Zoom call this week. Yeah, but I was really just trying to inspect Pez because I was trying to win <laughs> stuff on eBay. But maybe one day you'll join us. Oh, I get to eat an onion flavored one. Eat it? I'm working on it. Mm. Actually, it tastes really good. It's better than that weird Pez. <laughs> what, the lychee or the lychee Ly Pez? Yeah, lychee. So, can I show them the bag? Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. So she brings this home, and I said, "I saw it there first. I didn't buy it. Those aren't onions. Anybody guess what those are? They look like onions. Look shiny. Let's get some guesses what they are, and then I'll tell you. <laughs> we'll just wait." And in Kit silence. Wait, Kit Kats were on the top 10 list of that greatest of all time candy episode. Yep. And these Kit Kats, like in Japan, the Japanese people, I guess they really like Kit Kats. And they have like tons of flavors. Like we don't have, like we have chocolate and like white chocolate here. We don't have many flavors of Kit Kats. Acorns. <laughs> <laughs> they look like acorns or... Some kind of shiny hazelnuts, hazelnuts. yeah, close, closer, yeah, very close. What's Esther up? says, I can't imagine. <laughs> okay, we'll show the picture one more time. I can get it in the screen. Don't mind the bird's nest that they have them in for the product shot. These have, as far as I know, they have nothing to do with birds. <laughs> Those are actually like really, really good. They are so good. <laughs> they are so good. They're better than the green tea ones yes, we got the last week. Milk tea. The milk tea, yeah. Oh, we have a winner. <laughs> yes. We have a winner. Smile, Sarah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes you feel like a nut and eat these Kit Kats. Well, at least somebody else knows what a chestnut looks like. I don't know what a chestnut looks like. Well, I mean, they don't show them like roasting on an open fire. Yeah. How, how, how am I supposed to know? They show them in a bird's nest. It's like, chestnut sitting in a bird's nest. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> Someone else says. Yeah. Sue. Sue says chestnuts too, so. That's right. Confirmed. If you're not first, you're last. Sorry, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes uh, it takes a second to find the chat when you're watching stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because that happens to me. <laughs> Smile is uh, Sarah celebrating. <laughs> Rightly so. Epic performance. Here, have a Kit Kat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, All that right. was fun. Well, I was I was a little disappointed when I so I bought these and brought them home, and I was like, great, get out the Google Translate. I want to see what these actually say. And then I thought it was onion, and I was a little disappointed that they weren't onion, but I think that they taste better than 
Yeah. At least they'll probably get eaten. Yeah, at least we'll eat them. <laughs> and they're like, uh, those Kit Kats are like smaller than the American Kit Kats. <laughs> That's good. That's good because a little portion control will do me some good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the battery is about to die. Paul. See, look what he does to me. Like, I know he sits over there and he's like... Okay. You still, everyone's still there? <laughs> we are back. <laughs> Can everyone hear us? Hopefully. You know, I'm pretty sure you can plug this camera in. Yeah, we like, need to, to figure USB. it out. I also want to, I also want to look at the color. I don't love the color on this camera right now, but uh, it's not terrible. Yes, we are back. Still here. <laughs> we only lost two. It went from 18 to 16. Oh. <laughs> it's all right. We're wrapping it up. Yeah. I got to go relax. I know. Saturday. <laughs> exactly. This is, this is so much fun. Off. Like We look so forward to interacting with everyone on, this, on the stream. And it's so exciting when you come back week after week and we're making yeah. friends and we're going to see some of you at the conventions. Lots of new people here today, too, that I don't know. Yeah, yeah. If you are on here today, and if I do know you, but you have a different YouTube name, go say hey on Instagram or Facebook and let me know who you are if you want. Because uh, there's a lot of people on here I don't know. Or maybe they're just new. And if you haven't subscribed and you do watch my videos or if you're new here... And you want to learn more about Pez, you know, hit that subscribe button. If you're enjoying our live stream, hit that thumbs up. Right? Oh yeah. One one thing <laughs> I really wanted helps. to one thing I wanted to bring. Remember the lot of bagged a uh, poly bag Pez I opened last week? Well, oh I, yeah, there's some over there. Well, I went through them for variations, and all of the Star Wars are the LTD, the uh, limited on the back yeah, of the head. Yeah. And I think that they're the rare variant but um um but i'm not sure so here let's put the uh, santa on the spinner for for garner um so uh message me if you know anything about the the star wars limited versus uh non-limited on the on the back of the head there you go. Give him a little spinner. He says that he's the other Santa on Zoom. <laughs> oh. I misread that. So there you go. This goes out to all the Santas all on Zoom. All the Santas on Zoom. <laughs> Here is your plastic brethren. Uh, I think it's cool. Turn them sideways so we can see the uh -oh. the, the J. Ah, no, you can't see it. Mm. But it's a Jugoslavia. Yeah, that's cool. Now, when you make your Christmas videos this year, you'll have just one more Santa <laughs> to to put on there. Um, Look at Esther's comment. I want to uh, <laughs> uh, special shout out to Red Garfield, though. I mean, as a as a very a good contributing player to the live stream today. Yeah. Right. Like, I'm not super into test pieces. But I do like Garfield. I mean, he lives the lifestyle that I like. <laughs> Eats lasagna? Eats lasagna, lays around. Doesn't like Mondays? Doesn't like Mondays. <laughs> Esther's, <laughs> listen, where you watch, that's, that's your business. Like, we don't need to know that. No. Because <laughs> that's what the live stream is for. You just hang out at home. You could be uh, organizing your pez. You could be, I don't know. You're going to give these other some people. Pokemon Go on your phone because there's an event going on right now. You're going to give these other people ideas. They're going to tell us where they're watching. 
You that could makes be me in nervous. The hot tub. I don't care. Yeah. You could be uh, driving down the street listening to us. That's what ha that's what hanging out with us on the live stream is. Like don't just... drive and watch the live stream. <laughs> that is that's horrible advice. Or just listen to it. Yeah, you can just listen to it. All right, good. You could be out shopping for Pez. You could be looking on eBay or your favorite Facebook groups looking for some Pez to buy and have us on in the background. Yeah, you know who we're missing? We're missing, what is it, 300? Oh, yeah, 300's not here. Yeah, that's who we're missing. <laughs> There's a couple other people that yeah. aren't here. They came, in, they came and go. Come and go. Yeah. Uh, that's good. We got a lot of new people. We got a lot of returns, so... King Octo says, do you have the B-movie Pez and DVD set? No, I do, do not. not have that. That came up in last week's video. Yeah. Well, is it <laughs> not like... that exact question, but um, there was a variation in that B-movie set that I didn't have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Do you have the B-movie Pez and DVD set? Garner, are you saying people lay in bed and Zoom? Is that what you're saying? They probably do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like the Zoom call. Yeah, people. <laughs> you have, like, the camera, like, here. Like, you're, like, looking up your yeah. face. <laughs> or sometimes the people just put on a picture or whatever. You don't have to be. Oh, yeah, you don't have to be it's on It's Zoom, but you don't have to be on it. Like. Yeah. But whatever you're up to. All right. I think that's it. That's Anybody it. Else? We're done. We're going to go put this Pez away yeah. and get some lunch. <laughs> we'll, we'll put... Uh, We'll, we'll, you're going to post some of this stuff on Instagram, right? Yeah, I can. I can show the roosters. Where the, I'm going to try to give this doctor at, a bath. Rooster. Yeah, the doctor. I can go. I'll grab the other doctor that we have that's like this, and we can do a side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, cool. And uh, maybe we'll have to line up the FEBs. If you can't tell, right here, there's a whole bunch of FEBs. So we're running out of room. Well, we just added this. another level. Oh, yeah. We just added a whole other level. With those plastic things, you can see here, see how we added another level? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I had to have more FEBs to put on the level. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, it just seems reasonable to me. <laughs> so, well, the FEBs are there just for Easter time, too. I probably, they won't stay there. Me and the elves <laughs> love to watch you in the workshop. There you go. Nice. All right. See you later, everyone. Yeah. Thanks, Esther. You want to? Yeah. Bye. I'll see everybody on social media this week, and we'll be back for next Saturday. And don't forget to check out my videos. There'll be one out on Tuesday and Thursday here on YouTube as well. So see everybody later. <laughs> Do the thing. Oh, got it.